everyone, welcome to the video guide for week four of our Lenten devotional, The Seeker from Ashes to Easter. A few reminders, you can navigate to the exact day you're wanting in the time codes in the description below. Each day has a scripture, sometimes a reflection, sometimes a prayer, sometimes a quote, and you can use these to reflect or contemplate as you see best. As always, take what you want and leave the rest. Wishing you a beautiful Lenten journey this week. And now we'll begin on Sunday, March 20th. Our reading is from Psalm 5110. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Our quote today is, Vulnerability is not weakness. It is our most accurate measure, measure of courage. Brene Brown. Reflection. What does a new and right spirit mean to you? Have you ever experienced the sensation of being new and aligned with God? How does vulnerability enable us to be courageous and create a new spirit within ourselves? You can pause the video to reflect. And now let us pray. God, thank you for always listening. Remind me of the holiness of opening my heart to others through intentional listening. Help me to approach members of my community with open-heartedness and vulnerability. Amen. All right, day 17, Monday, March 21st. Our reading today comes from Proverbs 19:21. Many are the plain plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Our quote says, do whatever brings you life then. Follow your own fascinations, obsessions, and compulsions. Trust them. Create whatever causes a revolution in your heart. From Elizabeth Gilbert, Big Magic, Creating Living Beyond Fear. We have plans and ideas, maps, drawn out, goals, journals, and yet it is the eternal purpose through which we will prevail. This is why I find it so lovely to follow the sparks in my life and trust them. Because when I follow my authentic curiosity, I feel more alive and I feel the most source of love running through me. Knowing even when my own ideas don't come to reality, it is the purpose of the love of God that will endure. Our prayer today, God of love, thank you for all my interests and curiosities. When my plans fail and things are different than my expectation, help me to remember your unfolding purpose. Amen. Day 18, Tuesday, March 22nd. Our reading today comes from Romans 5, 1 through 2. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have obtained our introduction by faith into this grace in which we stand, and we exult in the hope of the glory of God. The greatest glory in living lies not in never failing, but in rising every time we fall. Nelson Mandela May we remember that we stand in God's grace, and even when we fall or face tribulation, it is not the end. A prayer. God, thank you for the peace and joy that comes in knowing I abide in your grace. Amen. Day 19, Wednesday, March 23rd. Our reading today comes from Luke 20, 45 through 46. And while all the people were listening, he said to the disciples, Beware of the scribes who like to walk around in long robes and love respectful greetings in the marketplaces and the chief seats in the synagogues and the places of honor at banquets. Our quote, I don't need fancy ways and shiny things. Give me slow hands, honest eyes, and full attention with ease. Give me priceless things. Butterflies rising. Our reflection, what unnecessary titles, garments, special privileges do you carry or see some carrying? Do these things help us function in the world? What about in the eyes of God? What priceless thing is meaningful to you? You can pause the video for reflection. And now let us pray. God of love, be with me today as I walk humbly in the world. Help me to notice the priceless beauty in my life. Amen. Day 20, Thursday, March 24th. Our reading today comes from Mark 6, 7 through 11. Calling the twelve to him, he began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over impure spirits. These were his instructions. Take nothing for the journey except a staff, 
No bread, no bag, no money in your belts. Wear sandals, but not an extra shirt. Whenever you enter a house, stay there until you leave that town. And if any place will not welcome or listen to you, leave that place and shake the dust off your feet as a testimony against them. And our quote, wherever you go, go with all your heart. Confucius. Go as you are, just as you are, with exactly what you have. Now is the perfect time. Jesus sent out his 12 disciples with nothing, knowing that all would be provided to them. Reflection. What does it mean for us today to go as we are? Prayer. God, help me remember I don't need one more thing to be just right to do the work of spreading your love. Help me to remember I have all I need for this step here and now. Amen. D21, Friday, March 25th. Our reading today comes from Matthew 5, 38 through 40. You have heard it said, eye for an eye and tooth for a tooth. But I tell you, do not resist an evil person. If anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn them the other cheek also. And if anyone wants to sue you and take your shirt, hand over your coat as well. Despite how open, peaceful, and loving you attempt to be, people can only meet you as deeply as they've met themselves. This is the heart of clarity, Matt Kahn. When we are met with pain, anger, frustration in another, it is easy to reflect the same sensations back in our reactions. However, it is possible to meet someone with understanding, forgiveness, and grace. May we do so. Let us pray. God, help me to meet all people with grace. When anger shows up in another, help me to end the cycle and show up with peace instead. Amen. Day 22, Saturday, March 26th. Our reading today comes from John 16, 33. I have said this to you so that in me you may have peace. In the world you face persecution, but take courage, I have conquered the world. Our quote Nobody should have to hide who they are inside to please people on the outside. By Terry McMillan, it's not all downhill from here. Reflection. Where have you experienced hardship or persecution? How does the story of Jesus help us to cultivate courage and patience in these spaces? Let us pray. God of love, with peace and courage, may I live just as I am, just as you designed me to be. Help me to cultivate courage and peacefulness within myself today. Amen. That concludes week four of our devotional guide. Thank you for following along with our Lenten devotional. A week five guide will be posted next Sunday if you'd like to continue this Lenten practice. Hope you have a beautiful week.